Hey everybody and welcome back to the Fox Fitness. I've been having a number of you who've been asking me about partner drills and some things that you can kind of do just to help you get uh, sharp for a fight. Uh, so what I did today, I put in some work with Seth. We did some very, very basic, basic uh, partner drills. Nothing fancy right here, but just uh, something good for me just to kind of get the rust off myself. I haven't done any type of competition of moving around anybody or sparring about a year and a half, almost two years now. So it was good for me to just to kind of you know, hop back out there and just get to moving around again with somebody. So I want y'all to check the video out. Um, if you have any um, suggestions or anything like that, feel free to hop in the comment section. Let me know about a video you may want made in the future. And again, I'm rusty. And you also kind of see contrasting styles right here. I'm more of a stand-up guy. Seth, on the other hand, he comes more from the ground game. So we definitely move differently. But as we work more and more together, we are rub off on each other. His stand-up will improve. So with mine, my ground game will improve. So with his. And we did a little bit of wrestling drills, but I don't have really any footage on that. I just got a little bit. So I'll be bringing you more of that in the future as well as we have time to do it. Um, other than that, just remember... Um, Guy made you a warrior. Again, leave a comment. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I look forward to bringing you more in the future. So, enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end. And right here, we're just doing basic drills. We're just working a jab, cross, inside leg kick. Um, as you can see right here, I'm more of a stand-up type of guy. Seth, he comes from more of a, uh, a ground game background, which is totally fine. Uh, we're going to help each other out a whole lot right here. This is our first time moving around with each other. And this is my first time moving around with anybody, even in a partner drill in about a year and a half, close to two years now. So it's just kind of good to kind of get the, the rust off a little bit and just start seeing something come your way. As you can see with Seth, I get him to turn that hip over a little bit more with an inside leg kick. But I've seen Seth fight. I've actually sparred with him on a number of occasions. When it comes to, to getting down, he lets his hands go. He's definitely an aggressive fighter. So, yeah. So, right here, we're just going with that jab cross and kick to the body. I try to get him to kick me a little bit hard. I am trying to get a little bit of body conditioning in, getting used to taking that contact. But like I said, the more we do partner drills with each other, the more we jail with each other, we're... The speed and all the, the power and everything behind our punches and all that will come. Kind of messed up the drill right there a little bit. There we go. And that's the wonderful thing about doing partner drills, you know, especially when you record them. As I look at it, I just see a number of things that I can always get better at and a lot of things I can make him better at as well. Iron sharpens iron, you know, so we're going to be helping each other out a whole lot in the future. Look forward to it. Then going with that jack cross hook roundhouse kick to the leg. And just keep it simple. You know, partner drills don't have to be, you know, anything complicated. I believe on that one I rolled under that hook. Now, a lot of this is just for getting the rust off, just getting the move and slipping and rolling again. And the actual um, MMA bout or maybe a, a kickboxing or a Muay Thai fight. I'll be extremely careful with the roll because you don't want to end up down there by somebody's knee. Like right there, I rolled but went kind of low. You don't want to end up by somebody's knee, especially if they're a knee specialist. You never know. You can definitely get caught with one. Now, right here was very interesting. This is where we kind of went off to the uh, the wrestling. There was a particular drill. I forgot what he called the name of it, but uh, it was definitely a core worker and a leg worker. <laughs> And me, you know, I'm I'm not going to act right. Don't matter what. I'm going to be that part. And it's just going to put you through it. He told me if I move more, then it would, <laughs> then it would uh, make the exercise hard on him. So, yeah, I just did up. <laughs> now, this is me doing the same thing with him. This is the only wrestling drill that I had gotten on this particular vlog. But, of course, I'll be bringing you more material in the future. And I'm brand new to the ground game, so I definitely look forward to improving on the ground becoming a more complete martial artist and there you have it just some of the simple basic partner drills that i like to do you don't have to do anything fancy really when it comes to partner drills just try to keep it realistic and the more you do it the more you start to find your flow you find your range you find your timing things like that um especially if you just have certain partners that you work with you get to, you'll begin to pick up on each other's habits and as you do that you'll make each other better by exploiting those habits all right 
So again, just if you really like this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share with your family, share with your friends. God made you a warrior. There's nothing you can't get through in this world. And I will see you all the next one. Y'all take it easy.